What's going on, guys? Welcome to Beauty and the Beast with Beastly Gamer and... And Kate. How you guys doing today? Uh, welcome back to the show. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage here. I've been kind of getting back into uh, Battlefield 4 a little bit. You've been watching this game. What do you think about Battlefield? Now that it's not playing nearly as broken as it was initially, I played today, guys, about 10 games. Didn't get kicked from any game. Didn't notice any game-breaking issues. So it appears that they have, have really been working on stabilizing the features of the game and I gotta say I've been having a lot of fun I didn't even know how to uh, to uh, equip certain weapons or equip certain uh, uh, perks well not really perks but my suppressors and my scopes I had no idea I, that's how little I played this game until today but I gotta say I really enjoyed it um, we've been uh, playing some Call of Duty too but tell me what you've been thinking about Battlefield when you see me play this game um, it looks more realistic than Call of Duty it's harder too. Um. <laughs> yeah, I haven't I haven't played it at all yet because I'm just getting into playing Ghost. So maybe I'll give it a shot soon. What, what are you uh, now? You have been playing Ghost. We've been playing some split screen. I was thinking of uploading some of the footage, y'all, because uh, Kate, she's a beast of the game too. And that was part of the deal when she met me. I said, if you want to be my girl, you got to be a beast of video games. And luckily for me, she uh, she already lived, was. She lived up to it. But um, we've been doing some uh, split screen and uh, split screen scream. I gotta wait till October for that. And uh, you've been liking the game a lot more than you used to. What are your thoughts on it now? Um, I still hate how big the levels are and how everybody blends in with the background so easily. But uh, the more I play, of course, the better I'll get. So I don't know. I just want to keep practicing since we don't play Black Ops 2 anymore. <laughs> gotta play something. Well, I, I tried to play Black Ops 2, what, yesterday? Yeah, but now you're too used to <clears throat> Ghost. Yeah, so well... So it's hard to go back. The thing is, um, not only that, when I started playing... Look, I think about... Disclaimer. If you hear raging children in the background, that's our big mouth daughter. You all know her, Nova, back there talking to her sister. But um, I changed my control layout from default to tactical, which takes your R3 analog... And by clicking it, it lays you down, you crouch with that, and you melee with circle. So that's real different than the traditional. And um, I found that to be much more helpful playing the game. I've only been doing it now, what? Two weeks. It's been less than that. Probably a week. <clears throat> but um, I've been, you know, getting used to it. And so when I played Black Ops 2, I had to go in and, re, you know, reconfigure my buttons so I could play it with tactical and I think that that's probably the best way to play Call of Duty because you get a lot more drop shots. I've also been watching um, So Superior. If you guys don't know So Superior, I think it's S-O-O -O Superior. Check out his YouTube channel. What do you got to say about this guy, babe? He is awesome. He's a beast. Well, let him he know be Beastly Gamer him. sent you. This dude uh, is a young cat and his, his... I don't know, man. If you put him up against Thunder, I mean, just by the way this guy plays... I think he'd get him. He's probably one of the best, as far as YouTubers go, best Call of Duty players I've ever seen. He just makes this shit look like... So easy. God. He makes me want to play the game to get better. Yeah, he uh, he he gets um, Kim strikes like every game he plays, it looks like. This dude is ridiculous. He's a young cat. His name's Connor, but he goes, his uh, YouTube name is so superior. Check out his channel. Watching his videos actually inspired me to try to get back into Ghost because if initially... Ghost really does piss me off, okay, be honest. There are a lot of people camping in the game. And the spawns. <clears throat> camping, I think camping will break the game. The spawns will jack you up. The hit detection is terrible. These things are, are, are worked on, but watching his videos, I was like, man, this dude, there's no way this guy is this much better than me. And so, <laughs> well, he is, though. Watching his footage, I felt like it made me better, and it did. You guys can probably tell by my Call of Duty footage, I am getting better, so I'm working at it. Um, and uh, let me know, let us know if you guys want to see some of that split screen act action that we do, the team deathmatch, so you can get a hold of what Katie's uh, capable of doing in the game. She's pretty good. Now, we went and saw a movie uh, last week. What movie did we go see? Captain America Winter Soldier. We went and saw the Winter Soldier. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we rode in there on this train of uh, great uh, reviews that this movie's been getting. I didn't want anybody to spoil anything for me. Someone accidentally spoiled uh, who the Winter Soldier was for me, and that kind of pissed me off. But um, we walked into the movie theater, and we walked out. How did you feel when you walked out of that movie? Um, 
I wanted to take the lid off of my drink and throw it at somebody because I felt like the cat. That was an awesome experience. Yeah, I I thought it was a really, really good action movie and superhero movie. Now, um, there's been a lot of people saying that this movie was the best standalone uh, Marvel superhero movie. That is like Iron Man, Thor, The Hawk, and who else? I guess it would be Wolverine and all this stuff. Yeah, I gotta agree. I I um I honestly have to agree. When the original Captain America movie came out, I wasn't. It seemed kind of boring to me. I mean, yeah. I didn't watch it all the way through, but it seemed a little boring. Yeah, watching Agent Smith turn to the Red Skull and stuff. I, I mean, plus it was really dated. It was back in the day, and he just didn't seem to me like superhero material. Of course, he was stronger and faster than some people, but it just uh, it didn't scream superhero to me. But seeing this movie completely reversed the way I felt about the captain. I still don't want to see the original. I'll just live off the coattails of the Winter Soldier. I thought that the Winter Soldier was, to me, by far, the best Marvel superhero movie standalone besides the Avengers. And I would actually put it right there next to the Avengers. If you guys haven't seen this movie, we're not going to spoil anything for you. Um, But I will say that it's action-packed. It has great action sequences and, and, uh, you know, huge set pieces. I guess I can call them set pieces, right? Yeah. (laughs) Because I'm so used to talking about Call of Duty and stuff. It it just has some really exciting scenes. Captain America is a hell of a leader. You kind of understand now why he is the leader and and, uh, the Avengers kind of listen to what he has to say because he has so much history with leading and fighting for justice. And uh, this movie is really awesome. Uh... There will be another one. Now we know what the, the next movie's about. A lot of people jumped up in the movie theater. And as soon as the credits started rolling, and what did I start saying? You told them to sit down and wait because there's going to be extra scenes at the end of the credits. But these assholes didn't even listen. A couple people were sitting, but mostly everybody just. I should have told them I was a beastly gamer. And they said, oh, okay, okay we sit down then, okay. But they didn't listen. Every, all these Nimkum poops, they all walked out. And so we waited till the end, because you know at the end of every uh, Marvel movie, they have, uh, you know, the little extra 30-second scene. And uh, basically, this one here tells you where the next Captain America movie is going. Um, when I watched The Avengers initially, I didn't get the... I wasn't... I didn't get the feeling from Captain America in that movie that he was on par with the rest of the superheroes. To me, he was like... Um, I want to say, what's his name? Hawkeye? <laughs> he was like... Hawkeye? Okay. The, the guy with the green it wasn't it wasn't green arrow the guy with the arrows okay. or, um, he to me he seemed like him uh, just a little bit better than the black widow <coughs> who was just a regular character excuse me and uh, his abilities just didn't seem that great but in this movie it all kind of comes full circle and you see really what this guy's capable of and now watching the Avengers again which I haven't done but I'm going to I feel a little bit better watching Captain America in that movie because I know really what his true powers are because you get to see him in this movie and not so much in the Avengers because the Avengers had much more powerful you know, entities in that movie, but we really did like it. Yeah, now, it was awesome. Our anniversary is coming up, guys, on, uh, what's the date? I can't remember. Really? Yeah, turn it. The 16th. You're not going to say the month? Cause you, May. Oh, because you forgot the month. Um, May 16th is our anniversary. And that will be our five-year anniversary. It happens to be the same day that Briar Rabbit, he likes to steal people's dates. I think he's changing his birthday to March 12th. Oh, really? That's so sweet. <clears throat> he wants to be like the Beast of the Gamer, but it's okay. We, we, we you hang go, to- Briar Rabbit. We hang together like that. It's just kind of amazing to me that Briar Rabbit, somebody I met on YouTube who I really do feel like is my brother, would have something lo- that close in common to us. To yeah, me. Anniversary. Yeah, I mean, now we I, I can call Briar and say, hey, look, uh, you know what's coming up in two days, right? You're like, damn straight. And we get, we you guys can to, remind each other so you don't get in trouble. For the rest of our lives, it's pretty amazing. We're going to, um, well, I got my own special plans for my anniversary, but Kay wants to go, uh, what, what is it now? Uh, dinner and a show or dinner and a movie or yeah, something. It's, but it's, it's combined. It's a movie theater where they serve you an actual meal while you're watching a movie. It's real nice and fancy and... And it's real giant, so you don't just have this little tiny theater chair you're eating food in. Um, but right when the movie starts, they bring out your food, hot and ready, and serve it to you. To me, that's called a drive-in. Um, I mean, no, you can't get restaurant 
quality food at the drive-ins. Sure you can. You go to the restaurant first, and then you eat it in no, the back of the van. It's it's better this way. Well, I don't... See, you're telling me about this, but I'm trying to understand how the hell you're supposed to see your food in the theater. Yeah, I want to know that too, but I guess we'll find out when we get... I mean, they're going to put a glow stick on your drink? I mean... I'm confused. Well, I guess we'll be, we'll be letting you guys know in a couple of weeks how this goes. What movie you want to see? On our, there's one movie that comes out on our anniversary. I want to see Godzilla. You know what? Kate loves Godzilla because of her father. Somehow he was ill-informed enough to still believe that Godzilla the, the remake with Matthew Broderick is a good movie. I was a kid and we watched it all the time. So yes, I do love that movie even though it's oh. crappy. But this new one looks really good. Well, yeah. Well, they you just can't showed really tell, they just showed new footage. Uh, yeah. I saw new footage of it today. It looks like they're actually going to do them justice. So I'm really excited. I'm more excited about that than Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. I want to see the new Spider-Man movie though. Yeah, that's going to be good. It looks real good. The new the Spider-Man game coming out is going to be for PS4, Xbox 360. <laughs> PS3, not PC, best. and no Xbox One. Xbox One's not getting it. Spider-Man games, I haven't found one that I like yet. No, actually, the last, I think the last... They, they made a couple good ones, honestly. This one here looks pretty interesting. I'm not going to judge it until I actually see it. I mean, it could end up being like Batman. You know, before the, the, the Batman Rocksteady games were made, Batman was, you know, one of the worst superhero games ever. Came out of Super Nintendo Sega Genesis. Superman the worst? Superman 64 <laughs> is the worst game ever made. Yeah. Um, but before uh, these Rocksteady Batmans came out, Batman was considered one of the worst games ever. And, and now it's considered one of the best games ever. So who knows, this Spider-Man game, I'll give it a little bit of you know, benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I will. I'm just saying. It could be an amazing experience. Let me ask you a question. Do you think, and yeah, I'm segueing, guys. Do you think that uh, buying this PlayStation 4 was a good invest? Well, actually, guys, we got the PS4 for free because of uh, you know some amazing things that happened to me. Right before your eyes, huh? Hmm. It's amazing yeah. seeing a clerk hand you back five hundred dollars. But um, do you think it was a good investment getting the PS4? Yeah. I mean, are you enjoying it? Do you think it's it's a worthy uh, next gen console? Yeah, it has a lot of potential. They just need to bring out the games. Well, what games are you uh, looking forward to? What do you mean? I want to. I want to play Destiny. I want to play a new Uncharted game, of course. Well, we, um, we talked about that today on, on, uh, on Beastly Thoughts. And, and I know you guys are listening to this video. It's Tuesday. But I recorded it on Sunday. So, ha! It's Tuesday and I'm chilling at work or wherever I am. And you guys are listening to this now. But um, we talked about it Sunday on Beastly Thoughts. And it makes more sense that the games don't come out too early. Because if you're sitting on first-party titles and you release them all at the beginning of the, the console's life, what are you going to have? You know, you, all you're going to have is uh, multi-plats coming out that everybody can get. So you hold on to your gems. You make those the best you can. Well, I'm not expecting them all to come out. Uncharted is, is going, I'm, I'm telling you now, they're going to show it. For... They're going to show that at uh, E3 this year for sure. I think they're going to show footage of it. Um, there's going to be God of War. we got The Last of Us coming. Um, it's going to be an exciting time. And the reason I ask you this is because the PlayStation 4 just sold 7 million units That's worldwide as of April 6th. The real question is how much did Xbox sell? Um, Xbox. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I'm not. I'm trying to get out of the habit of being so critical of Microsoft because, you know, they're trying to, to do things right. They're trying to get their ship right. Whenever I say right this ship, people always think of saying shit. And I'm not saying shit. I'm saying right this ship, like a ship in treacherous waters. And they're trying to get things together now and uh, so I'm trying to not be as critical as I've been of them they have shipped 5 million units which means they've shipped out 5, minute, five million units to retailers that does not mean they've sold them so they've already shipped 5 million and you know right now if you go to Walmart they got an Xbox Ones probably multiple yeah they, <laughs> they got lots of them GameStop has them everybody has them but the GameStop right here across the street they got three the last time I checked but every time I go in there they got them and uh, there's no PS4s. Brian Rabbit said he sees PS4s for sale, but Sony, and I agree with Sony because I never see them. Uh, not too nerdy agreed too. They're they're a supply constraint. They cannot keep up with the demand of the console. I haven't seen them. I think I've seen one like in the last four months. I haven't. So I mean, uh, here in Atlanta, they're completely gone. But there are Xbox Ones everywhere. So if they ship five million Xbox Ones and you see Xbox Ones everywhere, 
that's the leftover from the five million. So <clears throat> if we're going to be generous, we can say that they may have sold four point two million compared to Sony's seven million, and that's um, a pretty big gap. Uh, I think Microsoft they better come out really quick with a four hundred dollar model. Four hundred dollar model, and if their four hundred dollar model comes with no connect, yeah, that that has to be no connect. I mean, it can't be a discless console because if it's discless, they won't be able to sell it at retailers. Walmart won't sell them because nobody will be coming to buy games. Why would they sell a console just for a one-time uh, revenue boost? They want to be able to sell the products and make money on a uh, you know, more residual basis. So they're not going to make a discless Xbox One because all the games will come straight directly from Microsoft. And nobody will make any money. And, um, and nobody you know, wants that. Nobody wants to connect either. So, I mean, there are tons of people who think the Kinect is useless. So, if you ask me, that's what they're, they're going to have to do. Uh, release a $400 console with no Kinect. But what games? What games are people looking forward to in the Xbox One? I mean, the big game that everybody was really looking forward to in Xbox One was Titanfall, right? Mm -hmm. Titanfall came out. Titanfall barely... And I'm talking about Titanfall for PC and Xbox One. The sales numbers barely beat... Infamous Second Son on PS4. Now, Infamous on PS4 was only on one console. If you count the PC sales and the Xbox One sales of Titanfall, they barely beat Infamous. And now that that game has come out, and the PS4 outsold the Xbox One in the month of March, on the month that Titanfall came out, what does Xbox? What does the Xbox One have? What? what do they have that's going to draw a consumer to that size? They, well, I want it because of this game. Titanfall's already out, and there are a lot of people enjoying the game. Um, who knows how much I'll like it when I get it. I see it, it's fast, it's visceral, it looks pretty exciting, but I don't know how long I'm going to want to play it. I won't know that until I play it. But now that that game is out, there's really nothing to look forward to. I mean, well, we'll see what they got up their sleeve, though. Maybe, maybe something good will come out. What, E3? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, hopefully, but, but you think about it. What first party titles for, my, for Xbox do they have? All they got is Gears of War and, and uh, Halo. Halo. And they got a few new IPs coming to the Xbox One. I'm trying to remember the name of um. They got Project Spark coming out. They got the one that's based on the TV show. I'm trying to remember. They got a TV show coming out alongside it. Mm, I don't know. Um, but right now, I don't know what they have up their sleeve. I mean, we got. Uh, the last of us coming to the PS4, people are still super excited about the PS4. The Xbox One, their sales numbers are dwindling. They gotta do something. I think somebody in their sales and that marketing office needs to sell their souls to the devil or something <laughs> to turn this thing around. All right, so for the guys out there who are really excited about this new Spider-Man movie, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Rise of the Elect Rise of Electro. It looks like there's Rhino in the movie, Electro's in the movie, and Goblin's in the movie. Now, in the last Spider-Man movie, we had Sandman, we had Venom, and we had Goblin. And it was a terrible, terrible uh, result by putting all those uh, villains in one movie. It just didn't work. And uh, ultimately, they had to reboot Spider-Man. This one here looks really exciting. Hopefully, they can learn from the mistakes they made in the last one and kind of keep it similar to the comic books. You know, go with what, with what works. Now, for those who really are Spider-Man buffs out there, Sony has announced a Walmart exclusive... Um, PS3 bundle coming to Walmart uh, I think at the end of the month well, no it's coming uh, the same date that uh, Spider-Man is being released actually this uh, bundle is 269 it comes with a 500 gigabyte hard drive it comes with a Spider-Man the amazing Spider-Man game that's coming out to uh, coincide with the movie and it comes out with um, a movie uh, pass for you to watch the amazing Spider-Man 2 when it comes to voodoo so it's 269, 500 gigabyte hard drive, comes with a game and a pass for the movie. So if you're really into Spider-Man, uh, I recommend picking it up. What do you think about that? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to the movie, but of course we have our PS3 already. And I haven't played any of the Spider-Man games, so... Well, we got I a have, couple of the, the old ones. We have some, but I just, they don't seem interesting to me. They don't seem very exciting. Now, if you're not into the Spider-Man canon... Um, like uh, Spider-Man Noir and all these older, you know, comic books and some of the older Spider-Man games you won't understand. Um, Maximum yeah, Carnage. Who's old enough to remember Maximum Carnage? Um, but this one here, it looks like it might be pretty good. It looks like they're, especially the ones on PS4 and the Xbox One, it looks fantastic. I really like the animation of the game. Hopefully it's fun. I haven't seen it yet. Really? Yeah. Well, you've been reading too many books. 
Yeah, well, I like to read. She reads books constantly. And and uh, I just can't do it. I'm a movie guy. I like books. Sorry. Mm -hmm. If you guys got any good books, let me know. No! But, uh, yeah, you guys let us know what you think about that. This new uh, console bundle is coming out. It's Walmart exclusive. Wally World. And now, the moment of truth where we ask you guys a question. Now, we actually had two, and we'll let Kate pick which one she wants to ask you guys this week. Okay, so, if you could get thrown into any video game world, anyone, um, and either live in that world among the people, or if you could actually join the action of that video game, which video game would it be? Ah, uh, well, you guys think that over. That's a hard one. Um, I would, like, I would always want to go into the world of Mass Effect. That sucks. I think it would be really cool to be in that world. Like, all the different creatures and stuff. Yeah, but you know what's happening in Mass Effect, right? Yeah, but still. I mean, if I could join the join the army and and uh, the action, I'd do it. You, you do understand what the word Reapers are? Yes. Fuck that. I, we, I'd, just, I'd be curious to go there. Yep, and you'd be curious by yourself. You'd be like, where's your husband? Oh, he didn't come with me on this journey. Because you know what? I'd be somewhere else. Good. You'd be on a planet seeing some, need some damn reapers coming down, please. And plus, the ending is going to be terrible. No, nope, so, I'll change the ending. Bullshit. I will. At the end of your life, I'm somebody's going to just walk walk by and say, Yo, bitch, you like, oh, nope. and die because the ending of Mass Effect is terrible. So your end in that game would be absolute trash. Now, me. It's if, just the world of the game. The world sucked. Reapers, no. re Reapers were destroying the entire universe. And I would have changed. And and then this god child tells you that you have two choices of dying or dying. And fuck no. that game. You know how many hours we put into We both played, played the game side by side on both of our Xbox 360s. And how many hours we wasted playing that game. If I could go into any video game world, it would have to be um, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, things were bad, but I could learn. And I could I could master materia and become good. And that's it. You guys let us know what you think and what, what you would pick. We really do appreciate you guys coming and checking out Beauty and the Beast. Be be ready for next week on the BC Gamer and this is Kate. We'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.